Good afternoon, everyone. Episode 14 of Betty Bear's Nomadic Travels Building a Tiny Cabin. Um, uh, it is six o'clock, and I kind of wanted to give you an idea what's up on this episode and what I would like to accomplish. So let's see what we can get done. But I got quite a bit done today, so I'll show you. <music> Okay, insulation's all done. I got the spray foam, and my gosh, does that stuff go everywhere. But I got it. And I don't think it matters. It's going to be hidden underneath all that stuff anyway. I've got to trim the windows out because I got it all under the windows. And I got this one all cleaned off, so it looks good. But okay, so insulation's done. This is my shower. It's framed in. It's, hard to, it's really hard to tell what's going on. It's framed in, and it's six feet tall. There's six feet right there. So it's going, I'm not sure what I'm going to use for the inside of the shower yet, but it's framed in. My bed is framed in and it is a full size double. It's a double, a double size bed. So it's plenty enough, plenty big enough for me. And if my little granddaughter wants to uh, spend the night, she can sleep on the pullout or she can snuggle up with her old gammy gammy. I did the, um, now this is something that's unique. Somebody, let me get underneath the bed here. Somebody showed me this, or at least talked to me about it and said, you know those little uh, two bys. See, this is this is a two by. Pull out of here, and you hook. I hooked it to here. This is hooked to the door. So because the door swings out and not in, it doesn't do any good to put them here and here because obviously the door swings out. But I put one here and made a massive block, and I've got it lag bolted from the outside in. So now, nobody's not going to be able to get that door open, even if they broke those locks. Because remember, if you look at, remember the outside of those locks, they're kind of cheesy. They're not the biggest and the beefiest locks. So, oh. so I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about outside. Anyway, I got that installed today. That was one of the, my subscribers gave me that idea and I thought, oh, that was a good idea. Excuse my mess. I've got stuff everywhere here. See, here's my outside. These are the locks here. Now, see, they're not, you know, because it's so tight, you can't get too big of a herker murker in there. So I couldn't get too big of a lock. But, but you know what? Even if they did cut these locks off, there's, let me show you. Oh, I locked it. Okay, it took me a second to find the keys, but... I got the locks off of these things and there's no way in the world is anybody going to get that open because here's my legs. I put a leg bolt here and a leg bolt here in that crossbar right there. So that's going to keep me safe, I think. And um, of course it might keep me too safe, but I think everybody worries about uh, somebody getting in when I'm in there. Nobody's going to try to get in when I'm in there. I mean, if you've watched my past videos, you know that it would be a really bad idea while I'm in there to get in. So if you're going to try to get in, you're probably going to try to get in with, with me not being here. And if that's the case, well, that might be hard. Might be hard, especially if I got the shutters locked up. But you know what? Somebody wants to get in, they're going to get in. So anyway, I'm going to try to frame tomorrow my kitchen counter spaces. I need to get some three quarter inch, which is ugh, so expensive for my cabinets, but I'm not I, I got to tell you, I'm not even really thinking I'm going to make some cabinets. What my thought is, and let me show you what my thought is, is I'm thinking, now I don't know yet, it's not set in stone, but I've got all these upper, this upper space right here, all that upper space. And this is all going to be upper too, because this is my bed that's open. Everything up here is upper, 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 upper. What if I built some really nice shelves up there? And I put those baskets and all the same color baskets matching. I could put baskets everywhere and they would be lightweight and the shelf brackets would be lightweight and I wouldn't have that much weight in the, uh, the cabinets. So, and I don't know how to build cabinets, never built a cabinet before. So, but I think I'm really leaning toward that and I can put a little lip on the, you know, the, the shelf goes here. I can put a little lip right here and then the uh, basket can go over the top of it. 
to keep it from falling off of there. But I'm kind of leaning in that direction. But um, we'll wait and see. Tomorrow, um, I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow and we'll uh, continue. See how far I get. Good morning, everyone. Um, I didn't pick up the camera at all yesterday. I worked uh, quite a little bit on my little tiny house. And, you know, I get some comments that somebody says, oh, you're, you're think ahead so much. And, you know, it's so cool to see that you're thinking ahead. Well, I don't think ahead sometimes. And sometimes I screw up. So I screwed up again. It's not a dead in the water screw up, but let me show you what I did. Okay. I just started the countertop. I haven't reinforced or anything. So, um, but I just wanted to get an idea what I was looking at. So my stove, I love, I think that's going to be great there. And remember it's a sunk in, it'll be dropped into the countertop. I like that. I've got a little bit of counter space. I'm not going to have much. And the sink that I got, if you remember, I got that giant square sink that was 10 inches deep. Well, <laughs> 10 inches deep isn't going to work. No matter how I looked at it, I had two of these jerry cans and then I have, if you can see over there, see those jerry cans? I got two of those too and those are still too tall. So Betty, we screwed up. So I'm going to have to take that, um, send that sink back. And I just ordered, which I think is still going to look really, really good. I ordered a black porcelain 15 by 15 on the counter sink really, really firm, how to, how she's looking. And then I'm going to get one of those faucets that come way, you know, that come way up and, and way down like that. So I did a big screw up. So I was kind of took my daughter's bowl to look to see how tall five and a half inches was. And that's about as tall as that bowl is going to be. So it's not bad. And it, you know, it doesn't, I don't think it looks bad in, when you're looking in the window or, or I think it's going to be good, but I, ah, dang it. I'm just, sometimes I just, Want to bang my help my hit myself up against the wall there, but you know what? It is what it is, and um, I screwed up. So, but good thing I didn't cut the whole all that stuff. So it's all good. So today we're working on. I'm going to finish this uh, this cabinet. Oh, I wanted to show you something else too. The reason why this is. Let me show you. This is the bottom shelf. Of course, I got stuff on it, but uh, you see that right there. I wanted, and this was stuck in my head for a long time too. I wanted. I wanted a drawer. Let me see if I can give you a better look at that. I wanted a drawer that I can put. Um, it it only holds a it's it's a fifty pound capacity door slide, so it's not like I can put things heavy in it. But I thought it would be kind of cool to put um, like my clothes, like my underwear, my socks, and that kind of stuff in here. And it's kind of up in. Make sure I got it in there right there. So I it's kind of a secret little spot. So I kind of like that, and that's why. My counter's so tall and I'm th not thinking ahead and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, but my whale, marine whale water pump, this hole right here is going to, the, the line is going to come from here and, and the water pump foot thingy is going to go and it'll be right here. So I thought about that part, but I just did not think about that sink. So, okay, well, that's enough of that chitty chat stuff. Let's get to work, Betty. All right, I got a little bit of the, the cedar siding on. It's not on, it's just sitting there. Just to get, kind of give you an idea what uh, how far I've got going here. Um, a little bit on this side. Let me back up a little bit so I can show you these doors. They're just sitting there too. I don't have hinges for them yet. But uh, there's a door over here on this side. I got the cedar underneath there. And there's a door on, on this side. And what I'm thinking, if I can not knock these doors over, my sink and all my plumbing and stuff underneath there. And I wasn't going to build any doors, but I, I don't want that to show. So, oh shoot, all my stuff's falling down. I didn't want that to show, but my jerry can is going to fit. I got two jerry cans. And so now they're going to fit one there. And then there's another jerry can right there. My heater, which is my wave three is going to go right here. It's propane. The propane tanks are going to go here. Let me move this door without knocking it down. The, the Wave 3 over here. Propane tanks are going to run here. And I put a door over here because I just didn't want 
with my stove up here, I just didn't want to see those propane lines. So I didn't want to put up doors because I'm the wait, wait, wait. I just keep worrying about the wait. But I don't like that. I don't like all that stuff underneath there that you can see too. So I put them on there. Well, I haven't yet, but I'm going to put them on there. So anyway, uh, I think it's going to look really good. I totally mucked up about that sink, but you know what? It's all good. The one I'm ordering that uh, ceramic, uh, the little square ceramic sink that sits on top of the counter. I think that's going to look really nice. So um, anyway, I talked to my son-in-law. I've been looking for someone to help me wire this thing. And... As you guys know, I'm a kindergartner electrician and I'm a second grade plumber. So the plumbing part I can get done, but the electrical, I just don't know enough about it. So anyway, this is um, a little bit bigger project than my tiny house and um, my son-in-law is going to help me. He's wired a lot of cars, a lot of 12 volt, and he did give me some advice on my tiny, uh, my tiny cargo trailer. So he came in, I'm going to mark some of the things that I want on here. We're going to hide wires. Unlike my cargo trailer where, you know, everything's up above and you can get to it. We're going to hide it. But I'm going to have a fuse block and that's good. Um, and it's we're still running my uh, my energy, my 1500 watt solar generator. So that's, that's going to work. Anyway, um, I'm going to catch you guys in the morning. I got one more good day of, of this cabinet. And, and I'm going to Home Depot to get some clear... Stain. I do not want to use that dark stuff in here. I want it as light as possible. So I'm going to get some clear stain. I'm going to stain all this. The countertop is still not even glued yet. I just, like I said, I just set this stuff down here to give me an idea what I'm thinking on. But it's not even glued yet. And obviously I don't have the holes in there yet. My shower's framed in. Of course, my bed, you saw the bed's framed in. And if I have enough time tomorrow, I'm going to work on this mess here. But I'm going to work on that bench. The refrigerator is going to go there, the bench, and it's going to be one of those pullouts. That's probably going to take me a couple days because I've never done that. So, all right, guys, I'm catching you in the morning. There's another update, guys. This is going to be the last of this video. It is 512 on Saturday night. Let's give you a little idea what I did today. I didn't get started till about noon-ish. I had to go to Walmart and pick up a couple things, and I'll kind of give you an idea. Uh, I just taped this video just a second ago and I don't know where it went I lost it but let's give it another try I got the cabinets I got the cabinet cabinets done the cabinet doors are done and this is uh, remember the sink side so that's where my two jerry cans are gonna go right here I got one here and one here and remember my sink situation I bought the wrong sink so I ordered one it should be here within a couple of days and it, actually it's pretty cool so it sits on the counter and it's a ceramic uh, almost an oblong uh, ceramic uh, sink I think it's going to look really nice my wave three I've got set in there and I also built a little frame around it so that um, it's got its own little space and I think I'm not sure that I like this here because it is close to that wave three, but I did buy this box at, at Walmart today just to check it out. So back behind there, you can see I have cedar and the reasoning for that is when I'm sitting on the couch, I want to look back in there and see something nice looking, not something plywoodish. So my wave three again is, there's the gas valve right there. And so the hose goes here and, and it's going to go, and there's a little hole. If you see a I built a little hole right here. See that little hole? And that's where the gas is going to come out here. It's going to go through through here. My stove gas comes from up there. And it's going to go right through here where that propane tank is. So, And I got these little boxes here. And these, I bought 14 of them. And I'm thinking that they're, because they've got kind of like a wood grain look on it. I'm kind of thinking, I'll show you what I want to try. I want to try in my... In my bedroom because I'm going to have a little dresser that little three drawer dresser which is not going to be enough um, I want to put a couple of shelves like here let me see if I can get back farther like up on top here some shelves along here with these little um, with these little baskets because I think they look pretty cute so I don't know yet but I can always return them if I don't but I wanted to get all a bunch of them so that I can see if they work or not and I'm not sure but I would like to do them and put them here, let me back up a little bit. I'd like to put them like right here too on a shelf, you know, a wrought iron shelf. I'd like to do that too and, and see what it looks like. It might be a little bit too big and stick out too far, but I'm not sure yet. So anyway, that's kind of my thinking. 
I didn't get started till, like I said, until noonish today, but um, I got a little bit done and, and my main goal was to get to get my cabinets done. The cabinet doors obviously match the T11 on the outside and my uh, underwear slash lightweight, not too much because it's only got 50 pound slides on it, but stuff in there that I can hide, that I can put in there, that I that get out of the way and it's a soft close, so I like it. And it looks pretty good, looks pretty good. So anyway, that being said, guys, well, we're gonna end this video right here. I'm, I keep wanting to duck when I go to my go to the door, but look, look how much space I have. I have like all this room, but in my tiny uh, cargo trailer, I have to duck. And so oh, I really don't have to duck, but I feel like I have to duck. So anyway, from, from Betty Bear to all of you guys, I had last week again two weekends in a, two weeks in a row or two videos in a row. I got over three thousand. I got thirty five hundred views. Um, I don't, again. I still am scratching my head. I don't know how that happened, but anyway, I'm pretty tickled. I got a whole lot more subscribers too. Not a lot more, but I got some subscribers, and I think that's the main thing. So I'm enjoying the heck out of doing this. Um, the weather was perfect today, just perfect because it was about seventy two ish. So. Anyway, I'm going to end it right here. You guys know the routine. Give me a little thumbs up if you guys enjoyed any of this video. Hit that little bell icon. Subscribe to the channel if you already haven't. And the new subscribers, I'm going to, again, welcome you to my channel. Um, I normally am a traveler, vlogger, traveling and going places and showing where I'm going. But as a retired carpenter, I got the hankering to build something. And so I planted myself at my daughter's house here in uh, North Central California. And I've been here for how long, guys? Um, February 2nd. I think I got the trailer February 5th. So I've been uh, working on this thing for a little bit. But hopefully if the weight stays with me and if I can keep that weight down, um, I'm going to be traveling in this little thing. If not, I don't know yet. But uh, So anyway, that being said, guys, appreciate each and every one of you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, hopefully on Wednesday. Bye.